again Can't wait to get on the road again Got the 2007 Impala on the trailer. 10 minutes to fix the heat. Heat is working. Well, didn't even get a chance to advertise this one. friend of mine, he uh, had a little accident and uh, totaled his car and he has no transportation. So uh, I said, well, <coughs> I got a car. Little Chevy Impala. Runs and drives cheap transportation for somebody turns out he needed it so we're going to bring it down to him a little special delivery see you don't always have to be the bad guy I don't scrap everything in fact uh, I've been selling a few lately so 350 miles, I'm going to drive it down, drop it off, have himself a little ride, get around. A couple pads, a couple rotors maybe, make you happy. A little oil change there and uh, it's good to go. Got brand new tires. I'm gonna need those tires back. No. Just kidding. That's what everyone says up here. I want the tires back. Take a little ride. 2010 Silverado. Slap it on the trailer. Had a couple of almond joys got stuck in the pipe there. So got the new winch on there. Never know what we might find. It's uh, 39 degrees. The sun is coming out. Take a little ride. Beautiful. Beautiful Thursday, and uh, go down there. We'll sell a car, see a couple things, have a couple drinks. Way she goes. Can't deliver it with all this shit on it. Gotta rinse her off. My new winch got dirty. Big black. Whew.
sweet for the night. Light switches don't work. Don't do anything. I don't know. This one I had to turn on. That switch. These. Those switches don't do anything. That light works. That switch do anything to that? Nope. Nice little chair. Sixty. That's that's hot. Slate work. Oh, the switch works. The last one I got had a pack of bologna in there from the dollar store. I forgot to take a picture of it. Little, little sitting spot. Tie your shoes. Oh, works. Fan. Don't know what that is. Basic Earth. Got some shampoo and some cleansing bars. Just enough for two showers worth. Decent amount of towels. Eesh. There's a little updating. Not bad. What is going on up here? It's like a leak from above. Whew. Look at that. Time. Shoof. Man. There you go. Bad. I haven't seen him with the that new style floor down. Oh, reading material. TV work. Look at that. Nothing. TV don't even work. Great. So I had to turn it on in the back and uh, the remote seems to do everything else but doesn't turn it on old 
burn hole. It's a non-smoking room. So either somebody didn't obey the rules or they uh, used a blanket from one of the smoking rooms. Filth. So, here we are, my home for the night, sold the Impala, got myself a room, just got back from a little place called Applebee's, oh yeah, we celebrated. I think that um, they might have to check their keg level because I think I drank most of it. You go to Applebee's, I mean, what is there really in on draft? There's not much. You're going to have Bud Light, some weird, like... IPAs or something like that. Blue Moon is good, but it's it's a little heavy, you know. So Coors Light, you get those drafts. You can't video in there. It's too much music, noise, and people. Too peoply in there. Put a lot of them back. It's right across the street. So no problem there. We uh, get a couple more for dessert. Got to stick with the same kind. I don't want you to get too bad of a headache. I also took something with me. Oh, I had uh, classic appetizer sampler. It had um, quesadillas, mozzarella sticks, Boneless buffalo and those chips with that spinach, artichoke, cheese kind of dip, crazy stuff there. It's pretty good. You get a little little variety. Um, so I polished that off and then put a bunch of Coors Light down. But before I left, I got a little bit of dessert. <laughs> what do you think's in here? We 
got dessert. Double crunch bone in wings. Still warm. You got the blue cheese. We're celebrating. Celebrate life. The hell. I think it's ranch. I think they might have gave me ranch, but that's okay. I don't care. I was sitting at the bar. And uh, I got a message from a uh, friend there, Facebook, and a uh, little YouTube uh, viewer. Asking some information about uh, my Venmo account, and uh, they sent me over. Ten bucks. So, celebrate that. Ten bucks. That's what it's all about. Cheers. I will pay for this in the early morning. Probably get some heartburn. Probably wake up. Not feeling too good. But hey, we're celebrating tonight. Sold a few cars here. Doing pretty good. You know, I was thinking that Red Ranger I got for free. You know, I'm not trying to brag about it, but I just take what's thrown to me, you know. And, uh, what I was thinking of I must have got 55 messages about that truck I mean really but you know what I can tell you out of all those messages, you want to know how many people actually came and looked at the vehicle that was for sale? You want to know how many? The answer is one. One guy came and looked at it he heard it run he looked it over I took him for a ride he wanted me to take him for a ride we went for a ride around the block he made me an offer like a man 
And I said, you know what? That's a very reasonable offer, and I'll take that. He left. He said, I got to check on a couple things as far as the money goes, which kind of, don't get me wrong, you know, it's, uh, I see right through the bullshit on that, but to my surprise, he got back to me and he said, I'd like to pay you for that truck. came by he paid me in cash he saw my car trailer he said what do you got yourself what are you doing here a little bit of delivery business or towing I said yeah something like that he said uh, how much to bring it up to me About a half hour get to where he said and I said you know what I said you came you looked at it you offered me a, a, a decent price to what I was asking and uh, you know what for that price I'll bring it right to you and he said really we shook hands and that was it I brought it up to him and uh, I parked it right in front of his house and he came out and said, you know, I've been waiting for a long time to get a nice little truck like this. I can't believe the day's here and uh, there you go. So. That's it. In this case, this guy wrecked his car, totaled it, drove it to the scrapyard locally, drove it right there. Got a little bit of cash for it. He's got no ride. He's got to get to work. So I happened to have this uh, this Impala, and you know what? This car will get you to work. I know that. So I brought it down, delivered it to him, and that's it. We celebrate every day. It's a celebration. Cheers. snowy morning a bit of a rough morning not gonna lie back to my old spot See, they went to the uh, 
paper cups also. The um, little sippy lid is a little bit taller than the Dunkin' Donuts one. If you don't know what honeydew is, another chain coffee donuts. You know. They used to be known for their um, baked goods. They have a lot better selection of food too. They have a lot of different sandwiches and things like that, but with that back to the old morning cure to anything. A sinker. See, they, they kept them pretty big. They still shrunk them a little bit over the years, but I mean, uh, you should be able to fit your hand in the other ones. No poop on it, so that's good. Sometimes they give you one that has poop. Man. Yeah. That's good. Very snowy day. Haven't even got this much snow in Maine yet. A couple inches here and there, but come down here and get dumped on. Coffee rolls here used to be big old sinkers. After a night of drinking beer, if you have one of those, you're all set to go. Didn't sleep very good. The motel room. My luck. Seemed like there was a family up room above me. Babies crying. People stomping around all hours of the night. Oh. Not too bad all in all. and comfortable room 85 bucks can't go wrong with that really I mean obviously it'd be better if it was cheaper but really going rates